Okay guys, so I'm here at an open house and oh my god, this place is amazing, it's gorgeous, so fully updated. It's actually two parcels in one, or, well two parcels, uh, legally two parcels, but it's being sold as one. I mean, look at the backyard. Aside from the noise, Highway 50, as I mentioned, we're still in the Elmhurst area. Yes, your neighbor back there behind the fence right here. You go down a cliff, that's Highway 50. That's why I'm having a yell. But all new fencing all along. I mean, look at the grass. This is gorgeous here. They ended up chopping down that cliff. I'm so sad that they had to do that, but I think there was a rhyme or reason. Oh, wow, they have oranges too. So you see there's lines. We have a full palm tree. This would be a great entertaining space. A pool, or you can finish out a deck in the back here. I really like how they ended up decorating. I love the whiskey barrels on such a cool deck. I can't help it. Moscato is my favorite, as you know. So, Look at this great entertaining dining area right here. That's amazing. And this is considered 18, 14, and a half. So come on in. This would be considered like an in-law quarters, or I was thinking like it be like an office space. There is ductless heating air here, which is amazing. Oh. So, really cute, bright air if you wanted to add plumbing, you can definitely do that. It's all a kitchen in the back here and turn into an Airbnb. And again, we're so close to the East Davis Medical Center, it's definitely going to be worth the investment to run some plumbing through this particular small studio space here. Because you can definitely rent it out for what, $1,200? Yes, you can. Super cute, I love the colors. I'm biased towards that. And look at this amazing pergola. This is amazing right here. That's beautiful. Thank you. So amazing pergola. Got some guests here. They're enjoying the beautiful weather. And they have their own entrance to the dining room. You could potentially have RV access. So there's this gate right here. Behind me there is a driveway access. So, so much you can do. So much. Love. I love the whiskey girls. I got that yeah, red. Winery motifs. Yes. Yes, absolutely. What a her. That's amazing. So I'm gonna go take you inside. So this would be sort of the mud room coming back inside. And then you have sort of a mini office space here. Oh, about an eight by eight, a little small for my preferences, but it might work for others. And look at this galley style kitchen. I mean, this is gorgeous here. Look at that. Compared to the other home I was at, this is definitely twice the size. And you have the beautiful fireplace here. So wood burning. Look at this tile. And the mantle wood. Oh, do not want to rub my hands on there. Definitely need to sand that down just a little bit. So I do love the flooring. It's a darker, sort of oak style. This is a, the master bedroom. It's a little bit smaller than the other one here, but if you like it nice and cozy, uh, this is a good size master. Um, I love the vanity, the black. Contrast with the gray and white. I love the mirrors. The walk-in shower. I'm not a fan of the grout. The grout is like this beige color. They should have ended up using like a dark gray or charcoal color to give it a pop. And then I do love the, what do you call that? The shower. I'm trying to figure out what that's called. I know I'll figure it out soon. Then you have, I love the tiles, how it repeats on the floor. And then along the shower tiles here. And then again, the same tile was actually found in along the fireplace. And then here is the other bedroom. Voila! So again, it's about maybe a 10 by 10. Feels a little bit smaller than the other bedroom in the other property that I was just in. So, but I love the doorway, the door paneling. That's beautiful. 
I love the chandelier here. Love that. It's a lot of great features. Um, if you're probably a young couple or individual male or female, bachelor, bachelorette, this definitely is the home for you. Low maintenance. You don't have to worry about doing any renovations. Um, it's a good size. It's an entertaining in the back there. If you love to camp, there's RV camping there as well too. And I'm just going to say bye to the ladies.